by Ian again from Safety First Driving School just to um, go over a couple of points again about the clutch. First of all, if I have the car ready in first gear at a junction to move off, I'm not coasting on the clutch, I just simply have it in gear to move off. So I don't always have to be in neutral, that's just a myth. So that's the first thing, that staying on the clutch the whole time in gear is perfectly fine. If I want to move off a very short distance and I don't release the clutch, for example, I can go clutch brake, where normally you go brake and clutch down to stop. So I'm just going to move off here for a second. If, only, if I'm only going a short distance and I don't bring the clutch up all the way and I want to stop again, I can go clutch brake. Because I'm going so slow. So when I'm maneuvering the car at a very short distance or a very slow speed, I can use the clutch to control the speed going forwards and also when I'm reversing as well. So for example, if I was to do a turnabout in the road or just move up a short distance, I can go clutch brake. So if, if I was to go drive from here to the path, I can go clutch brake to stop the car so I don't brake too hard. I, can, I have to use the clutch to control the speed when I, I reverse as well. So for example, if I just bring up the clutch a little bit to about here, I'm reversing back now very slowly. If I come off the clutch completely, I'm gonna go too fast. So the car is, without even giving gas, is going really fast now. So I have to stay on the clutch to control the speed when I reverse. So also when you're parking, just to emphasize, when you're maneuvering the car short distance, when I'm parking the car, if I'm in first gear, I can't be coasting. So I can't get marked on the clutch for that. One final thing to remember would be that normally a lot of people go um, neutral handbrake when they stop the car. And I've meant, I will mention that if you're in neutral when the car hasn't stopped, you'll be coasting and you get marked for that on the clutch. But, but if I stop the car, before I stop, I, if I put the car in the first gear, I then I can't be coasting. So for example, if I just drive up this road, I'm just gonna build up a bit of speed. If I want to, let's say, pull in or stop, I'm just gonna stop here, there's nobody behind me. If I just brake and clutch down, before I stop the car, if I put it in the first gear, I can't be coasting. But if I stop the car in neutral and I'm still moving, I'll get marked for that. So that's another way of preventing losing faults on the clutch for the driving test, stopping in gear. Okay, I'm at this traffic light here. I'm the second car behind this van. I'm gonna turn left to this junction. If you notice, I'm on the clutch ready to go in forest gear. So that's perfectly fine on the test to stay in the clutch as long as it is required until I move off. It is a lot of people think you have to be in neutral all the time. That's perfectly fine. Make sure that you don't come off the clutch though, that you realize you're in first gear because if you come off the clutch in gear, you'll stall the car. So it's perfectly fine again to stay in the clutch as long as you want to because you can't get marked on that because you're simply in, in gear ready to move off. So you won't get marked for on the clutch for being on the clutch. If, I, if you want to move off. I'm just moving up a little bit and just using the clutch gun and go clutch brake here to stop. And always make sure you can see the back wheels of the vehicle in front as well. I'm still on the clutch, if you know, it's still ready in first gear when this light goes green. So I'll be quick when it changes. So quick look in my mirrors and I'm gone with the traffic. So I'm not wasting time getting into first gear at a junction. <laughs> 